guys, welcome to Atari Story 7. Today I'm reviewing this, which is the Captain America Civil War Mini Mate uh, War Torn Iron Man and War Torn Captain America. And you can see their images on the side with Captain America Civil War and a Queer View packaging uh, style. We have Captain Iron Man up here, Mini Mates, Avengers, Ribbon Change, uh, Interchangeable Parts. We have Cap on the side, Iron Man on this side. In fact, we have the other figures, uh, the legal information, and we have a bio for Captain America and for Iron Man that you can pause if you want to. So, um, yeah, let's open these things up. So here you can see them out of their packagings, and I did get the displays right this time. Uh, so, um, yeah, I think they look pretty cool. As you can see, they're definitely war and torn. So uh, let's go over here with Iron Man first. And uh, he also does come with a standard base. But um, as you can see, I do feel the likeness to Tony Stark is pretty cool. I think they got it right. Uh, I do like the battle kind of like mud and just, you know, like damage kind of look on his face looks pretty cool. Um, and, you know, I'm not really, like, sure about these mini-mates because I don't own a lot of them, but this will probably be, like, an important figure to you, like, if they haven't already released it on mass version. I don't really know. Because, like I said, I just started collecting them. But I do like the molding on the arms. I feel it's really nice. I like the paint back here. And uh, I do like the paint on the chest as well. I like the damage kind of look. But I also like how they did a good job with, you know, just keeping the normal look. I like the cracked arc reactor and the gold on the sides. And I kind of like the crack bits of gold here as well. And I really do like this boot and how they've kind of made this. And um, you can see more of the dirt. Now, uh, yeah, he does have his alternative helmet or just, you know, main helmet. You can, I believe you do this by popping off the hair. That's how it kind of worked for Ant-Man. And uh, yeah, so you just take off the hair. And um, okay, I don't really know. I think you just like put it on over his head. Yeah. And then, boom, you have Iron Man. It looks pretty cool. So, um, you know, the helmet, I'm not really sure, like, about these. So, I don't know if it's standard helmet. It looks like standard helmet. Uh, but I like the detailing on the side and the top. But I really kind of love this broken bit right here. It looks pretty cool. And, um, yeah, you know, like, I'm pretty sure they made a lot of these Iron Man and Captain America figures. So, it's a great way to get a variant of them while not being a massive variant. Uh, there is a 360 at the head. Kind of the same with all the other mini mates up and down. Uh, 360 at the arms, bendability at the elbows, and uh, I do not believe the wrist can turn. Um, there is a 360 at the torso, and they are removable, and it can go up and down. Uh, it's kind of hard to do, though, uh, for me. Oh, I believe these are actually removable. Uh, I'm not really sure. Like I said, I just started reviewing these, but um, yeah, so these can't go backwards, and uh, I believe that's about it, but I think it's pretty cool. I do like the detailing, and uh, I definitely like the helmet design. As well, over here we have the first Avenger, Captain America. And, uh, you know, I think he looks pretty cool. Uh, I do like the hair. I think it looks a lot like the actors. Um, the face, uh, I think it looks like Chris Evans. I don't think it's, a, you know, like a great likeness, but I do think it's pretty good for the most part. I do like it. I like these straps, and I like that you can put the shield on the back. I like the silver as well. Um, you can see the mud on the star, and like, just pretty much how he's battle-wounded as well. He has A's on the arm, so that's cool. And, um, you know, this arm is a special hand for wielding the shield, but uh, you do get this alternative hand over here, which I'm not going to show because it looks like way too hard to put on, but you can uh, without this peg on the side. So that's nice if you don't like the peg there. And uh, speaking of the shield, you can see it has this, uh, the straps, and on this side it has the red and the blue. And uh, it's really cool because it's just dented and muddy and battle-worn, and that's the theme of this set, so I like that. And uh, the legs are also a bit dirty, too, as well. So that's cool. And um, you can also put the shield uh, back here on Captain America's back, like I mentioned. So that's pretty cool. Fun little feature that I like. You can do that. So, uh, here's Cap with his helmet on. It looks pretty cool. I like the giant A. And I like the wings on the side. You know, it's standard Captain America helmeting. But I think it looks pretty cool. So, you know, ultimately, I do like this set. Captain America and Iron Man are the main uh, heroes slash enemies of Civil War. So, it's great to kind of, like, just have a set where you can get the two of them. And, uh, you know, like I said, these are probably figures that have been released a lot. So, you know, if you already have these figures, it's a very nice variant. And uh, you do get their normal faces and such. So you can kind of, like, recreate that. And I think it looks really cool. And uh, ultimately, I do really like this pack. And, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe.